So today, I want to showcase the elevator and one of the last new pieces of technology that I've added to this roller coaster. Now if you notice, I have added a new sensor that I have placed right here. And it senses when a train launches over the top hat. But before we get to all that technical stuff, let's take a minute to admire the newly re-added elevator theming. Now, before, I needed to take the elevator theming off to work on all the various elevator malfunctions. Um, since then, I have fixed many of the recurring issues, so a lot of those fixes aren't necessary. But I have also changed this so I have easy accessibility if something does come up. So I've left this whole top and the side here open so I can see the gears and the motors here and I can see and have access to the sliders when the carriages are sliding in and out. And also, I'll have access to take trains on and off the carriages in case they get stuck like this. See, so if they get stuck in here, I can, I can jiggle it around and then kind of pull it and then let it go. But on the flip side, from almost any location in my room, the elevator is still visible as the Felucia Water Treatment Facility, as I th originally themed it to be. Some more dangly plants on this edge, and along here almost obscuring the sign for the Water Treatment Facility. It also has a much wider entrance this time to allow the light in so you can see Obi-Wan Kenobi better, or Darth Maul, depending on whether you're with the Rebels or with the Empire. And now back to the technical stuff. So this sensor here senses when the train comes over here. And so now the elevator, take a look at the code real quick. I am terrible at this EV3 code stuff, or any code stuff really. But I had to reprogram this whole system so that the train does not get ejected until two conditions are met. One, obviously the train has to get in the elevator and the train comes to the top. But the second condition is that a train has to come, has to come up and over the, the top hat. Because if the train comes up and over the top hat, that means it has cleared the launch section in front of it, so now it is safe for the train behind it to proceed. So now I'm going to show you how it works in slow motion. So I'm going to push the train into the elevator. Now the elevator is going to go up. So now the train is stuck in the elevator. It's not going to go anywhere until it clears the block, until the train in front of it clears the block. Now, I'm going to hold this train just so you can see. And as soon as I push it over, that train's going to get ejected. See? But that's not all. There's another condition that this elevator still has to work under. So what if it launches early and the train behind it hasn't come yet? So let's see what happens here. So let's say it launches, and oh, it's already launched. So now, we need to, and then the, the second train comes way later. So now, it should get ejected immediately. Just like that. And now, that we got the elevator working, we got the station blocks working, and we got the launch working. Now let's see how it all works together.
working. All on its own. There it goes. So, a quick little update. There will be a single update left before the final videos. Um, and yeah, I'll leave you with that. <laughs>